Hi my friends, welcome to another video. Today I decided to do a tutorial type of video. I know these types of videos aren't as popular on YouTube anymore, but I still really enjoy them and I feel like we can always learn something from the tutorials. I personally love teaching makeup or teaching others the way I do my makeup and it's just really rewarding for me. So that's what we're gonna do today. I wanted to share it with you guys my one and done type of makeup look um, that is perfect for the summertime or really any time of the year. If you're in a hurry, if you're in a rush, or if you made plans last minute and need to do something really quick and get out the door. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my one and done eye look because for me at least, my eyeshadow is what takes up the most time. It's also what I enjoy doing most about my makeup and where I like to take my time. Get creative or mix colors or just use it as an outlet to de-stress. So as you can see, I have my full face of makeup on um, except my eyes. I have currently nothing on my eyelids. I did uh, bring just a little bit of my concealer up to my eyebrows but nothing on the eyelid and for this one and done eye look what we're going to be using are some eyeshadow sticks so i went ahead and pulled out just a couple different options that i have a lot of brands have eyeshadow stick type products these days um, i have one from elf i have one from iconic london i also have one from laura mercier the caviar sticks which i know are really popular and uh from jouet their cream eyeshadow crayon this video may seem like a no-brainer but i wanted to go ahead and just show you how easy it can be um, using these products so when i'm doing this type of I look I like to go for a kind of blown out smoky eye look it's just the easiest I feel like you don't have to be super precise and you can just blend um, and smoke it out without having to worry about like I said being so precise and for the summer we're gonna embrace that bronzy look so I like to go for that type of shade for that today I have two options I have this uh, elf no budge eyeshadow stick. This is from their Mint Melt collection. Uh, and I'll give you a swatch and show you what this one looks like. This one's a really nice chocolatey brown, but does have some flecks of shimmer right there. I think you can see that. Um, but the one that I use the most is probably this one from Jouer. And this is in the shade Bro Baroque and it is retractable so you can see and i'll go ahead and give this one a swatch and you can see how this one has more of a metallic -y shift to it so it's not as flat of a shade and this is the shade baroque and then just for kicks and giggles i'm going to go ahead and swatch the laura mercier uh, caviar stick i have mine in the shade coco um, and this one is more of a flat matte color super creamy super beautiful i love using this for um eyeliner on my upper lash line so there we have it right there so we have three different options i would recommend going for something more like this because it's going to be easier to blend out and easier to diffuse compared to something that's more of a flat opaque color like this while we're here let me go ahead and swatch this from this eyeshadow stick from Iconic London. These are called the Glaze Crayon and I have mine in the shade Nectar. So it's the same concept, that kind of twist up chubby one. And here we have it right there. So if you want a brighter, more peachy color, you can go for something like that. So basically for this look, all you're gonna need at minimum is going to be um, an eyeshadow stick a medium dense blending brush and depending on your skin type um, and depending on if you have oily eyelids i do you may or may not need a, an eyeshadow primer you may even get away with not even needing a brush with this i currently have long nails so it is it's not as easy to blend stuff out with my fingertips so for me i am going to be using an eyeshadow brush 
All right, so this is, like I said, a one and done, but for those of us that have oily lids, um, if you have the extra time, it is never a bad idea to apply just a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's an OG. Um, I am gonna go ahead and use my finger for that. Like I said, I don't have anything on my eyelid right now. Uh, I did bring up just whatever was left on my concealer brush to bring it up towards the eyebrow bone. I have gotten away with just going in straight with this eyeshadow stick from Jouer. That's the one that we're gonna be using today. So I'll do this eye with the eyeshadow primer and the second eye without the eyeshadow primer just to get, give you guys um, an idea. So we're gonna give that a little bit to set and let me make sure I picked up the right one yep this is Baroque so we're going for this shade right here and I'm literally just gonna go right onto my eyelid and I like to start at the outer corner because it's where I want the most depth in color and what I love about this eyeshadow crayon is I don't feel like it tugs um, I kind of bring it up about that far and you can see it looks like a hot mess <laughs> right now. So what you're gonna do is ideally you wanna take a fluffy brush, not too fluffy, somewhere in between a more, hmm, let's see. So I would say something that's a little more dense. So this is from Rose and Ben Beauty. This is the E28 and I have this one from Morphe. This is the E30. So I'm gonna start with the E30 again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start lifting this shadow up into my crease. And you can see how that's kind of diffused the shade. And all I'm really doing is diffusing that harsh line. And you can go in and add more as you go Oh, I picked up the Rosenben E28 brush. And I am like tapping and slightly dragging up. And I do have a bit of a hooded eye, so I'm trying to bring this above where the hood is. So you can see, I wanna bring it to about here. And as you're kind of tapping and pulling up, you're kind of creating a transition for yourself when you do that. The shade is diffusing on its own. So you can see this shading right here kind of transition compared to the eye that doesn't have anything on it. With these eyeshadow sticks, depending on the brand that you're using, um, some of them do dry down pretty quick. So this one from Jouer, uh, once it's set, it's set. So you do want to, you do get some playtime, but ideally you, once you apply it, you wanna go in and start blending and moving it around before it, before it sets. If I wasn't filming this right now, I probably would have been done, but because I am talking through and kind of walking you guys through my process it's taking me just a bit longer depending on how you like your eye shape you can go ahead and just keep bringing that if you want more of a cat eye bringing it out this way or round it it's up to you so there you see we've got a quick smoky eye it took us less than five minutes uh, like I said if I wasn't talking and walking you guys through it I probably would have had both eyes done already so let me go ahead and do the other eye. I'm gonna do the side with no eyeshadow primer so you can see if there's any difference. So there we go, we have both eyes done. Again, the eye with no eyeshadow primer and the eye with eyeshadow primer look exactly the same to me. Um, like I said, with the Jouer 
eyeshadow stick this one is once it's set it's set so if you don't have oily lids you don't necessarily i don't think you necessarily need an eyeshadow primer i definitely use this without an eyeshadow primer on my oily lids um, on days that i just need something quick and to look a little bit more put together but depending on how long you plan on wearing this or if you're going to be out in the heat or humidity again with an oily eyelid you may want to add in an eyeshadow primer if you have the extra time so going along with this kind of one and done look with the eyeshadow stick um, if you're doing the rest of your makeup and you use some contour or even a bronzer depending on the shade of bronzer that you're using and you want to take it a step further you can also give the eye look a little bit of depth depth by applying the contour powder and or bronzer into your crease so for example just to show you guys i have this essence contour or palette i'm going to dip into the contour shade it's more of a cool tone shade um, because the jouet eyeshadow stick is more of a cool tone and i'm using that morphe brush i could use the same rose and ben brush that i was using as well and all i'm gonna do is press this into the crease now because we are doing a one and done look i am trying to isolate this shade just in the outer crease because again we're in a hurry here so i don't want to have to blend everywhere and you know touch up ta-da let me know in the comments if you guys can tell a difference it's just a slight subtle difference but you can really see how it gives me more depth and this is an extra step if you have the time so going ahead on the other eye and just pressing it into my crease really isolating that shade into this outer corner and this is where i get myself in trouble because if i'm in a hurry and i get in i get in my groove i can just keep going and going and going and then i'll lose track of the time <laughs> but this is supposed to be an easy one and done look so there we have it one and done like i said if you if you're in a pinch 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 throw on the eye shadow stick blend it out you can use your finger if you don't have a brush available if you have a brush i would say go with a bit of a more medium dense brush versus something really fluffy like um for example this morphe um and jacqueline hill jh32 see how fluffy this is um because of the formula with most eyeshadow sticks you need something that's a little more dense to help grip it and feather it out if you use something like this I, you're going to be spending more time trying to move it around so now all you're going to want to do is throw on some mascara i always curl my eyelashes but if you have long naturally curled lashes lucky you you can just slap on your mascara and you are done those of us that need little extra help eyelash curler i really love the one from shiseido um that's the one i've been using for years this is an eyeshadow look you could even do in the car if you are really pressed for time i'm using my nyx worth the hype volumizing volumizing and lengthening mascara drugstore i think it's like eight or nine bucks one of my favorites, I've talked about it multiple times here on my channel. Ta-da, mascara done and we are ready to go. So here we have our really easy, quick, smoky eye for the summer. This eyeshadow stick formula from Jouer is a little bit on the drier side. Um, which helps it dry down quicker. Like I said, you do get some playtime, but you really got to get in there. But that formula means it's not going to move. It, it's going to have long lasting power and you don't have to worry about it. I'll even show you guys here on the swatch. So this one right here in the middle, remember, is that Jouer eyeshadow stick. I'm going to go ahead and rub. I'm rubbing pretty hard there. And you can see it hasn't really budged, 
we have we do have just a little bit that came off on my finger but for the most part that hasn't really moved let me know in the comments below what is your quick and easy one and done eyeshadow look or makeup hack I'm sure all of us would like to pick up some of those tips and tricks to help speed up the process um, when we are in a rush and still want to look our best. I will leave the link to the Jouer eyeshadow sticks in the description bar. These are available at Sephora and on Jouer's website. Um, I do have a discount code with them. It is Glitz by Day for 15% off your purchase. It is an affiliate code, so just be aware of that. If you decide to use it, thank you in advance. And thank you for tuning in to this video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Leila. I hope you stick around and just subscribe before you leave. And for all my returning viewers, welcome back and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.